Hi beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to the channel. This is a collective reading for all star signs. If you chose to click on this video, there could be something in here that you need to hear. First message is, you'll never be broke again. Claim that. I will never be broke again. Amen. Let's get started with a deep breath though. Inhale. And exhale. Thank you. Alright, remember to only take what fits into your story and leave the rest for somebody else. Also, I do not offer any personal readings or do any services at this time. If anybody is reaching out to you on any platform, they are pretending to be me, trying to scam you out of money. Please report and block them or just ignore. I will not ever reach out to you to offer a reading or to ask you for money. So message here is you'll never be broke again, period. I love that for us. I love that for you. You're never going to have to check your bank account again. You can stop looking at price tags. You can afford to treat yourself and others. You'll never have to worry about money ever again. The universe will provide for you. That's also something you can claim. Write it in the comments if you feel called to it. The universe will provide for me, period. The universe always provides for me. This feels like a continuation of a message we did the other day. I'll put it in the cards for you, and I'll try to put it in the description box as well in case you missed it, or, unless, or, unless, or if you'd like to go back and listen to it. The reading was... Let me find it. The reading was um, the one about the death card, the Wheel of Fortune, the Nine of Cups, the solution to any financial problems. You're in the most successful season of your life. This changes everything. Yeah, the win-win outcome reading. If you haven't seen that, it'll be in the cards for you or in the description box, but go check that out. Let's dive into your messages, okay? I just wanted to get that out of the way. You're never going to be broke again. This could be a job that fell into your lap, or this could be like a raise or a promotion or a position change for you. Or all of a sudden, they start paying you more. All of a sudden, they start offering you more money or something like that. Maybe you've been there long enough. Two, three, seven years for some of you. And you're never going to be broke again. Some of you could be tenured into something. Okay, you could be receiving tenure for some of you. If you're like a teacher or professor or something like that. I'm also getting grandfathered in. Somebody may be like getting an, receiving an inheritance from their grandfather. Somebody's grandfather may have passed away sending you love but i feel like it was his time or he passed away peacefully something like that i'm getting the age 88 and 90 so that could have been your grandfather's age when he passed away for some of you okay but i'm getting something about like your grandfathered in you've done the work you've done the work to receive this gift or to receive this abundance or you've done the work to never have to worry about money ever again okay so like i said this could be a new job or a job that fell into your lap or this could be money that falls into your lap. Okay. I'm also getting that some of you, it's time to start that YouTube channel. This is your sign to start that YouTube channel or to start that business. Some of you are meant to be very influential in this life. I'm hearing you have to get over the fright. You have to get over the fear. You have to get over the nerves. You also have to get over people not liking you. That's a part of it. Not everyone's going to like you. You can't please everybody. I've learned that lesson over and over and over again, and I just have to keep showing up. So that's a message for you is to keep showing up and to not people please so much, to not really care about what other people are thinking or how other people are feeling, right? You're not responsible for how other people react to you, to your truth, to your words. Only they are. You can't control what they do. You can't control how they act. You can only control how you react. Okay. But for some of you, I'm getting like you're meant to be influential. You're meant to be somebody in like the spotlight. You're meant to be seen. You're meant to share your gifts, to share your wisdom. Okay. So this is your sign to start that YouTube channel. All right. For some of you, a select few of you, there could be a person here who's coming into your life who's very wealthy, like a romantic partner for some of you. Like they already have a bunch of money and you're never going to have to worry about money again because they want to take care of you. That's just the kind of person that they are. I'm getting that they're very traditional. This person comes from like a good family or a traditional family or something like that. I'm getting that they want to take care of you. They want to provide for you. They feel like that's their duty. They feel like that's their responsibility. Okay, so let them. I'm hearing Leo. This person's name could be Leo. Your name could be Leo or Leonard. Interesting. I don't ever get that name. Um, okay, or you could be a Leo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, or north node, or this person is. Of course, that sign doesn't have to resonate. I just throw out signs in case they do resonate for people. Let's see where this is going, please, spirit. Mm -hmm. 
I'm getting that you've done some kind of work internally. You know something now. And I'm also getting that knowledge is money or knowledge is power. Okay. So your first card is the Seven of Swords in the reverse. This is really beautiful because it feels like nothing that anybody does can block you from receiving this abundance, from receiving this prosperity, from receiving this wealth, etc. Yeah. Very nice. Okay. So we're seeing the Seven of Swords in the reverse. All of the lies, the deceit, the sabotage, the trickery, the plotting, it's done. It's being handled. It's being settled. Done. I'm also getting something about like a settlement and a lawsuit. So you may be receiving like a payout. Okay. And then we're seeing the Hermit energy, 555 five, five on the timer when I just said that. So again, you could be a Virgo. Don't have to be, but I'm getting there's something about like finding the abundance within, finding the information within. Some of you, it's your gift. Some of you, it's your talent that's going to make you all of this money. You just have to believe in yourself. You just have to put yourself out there. Okay. But I'm getting that some of you have been doing the work. The hermit to me can represent like shadow work. And then this card, it depicts a character who's going into like a cave. And for me, the cave could be your mind or the cave could be your shadow. It's like seeing the things that you don't want to see, dealing with the things that you don't want to deal with because you don't want people to know that about you or because you don't want to face it or you didn't, right? This feels like past energy. So I feel like in the present, you've already done the hard work. You've already faced your shadow. You've already found out the information. And I just keep getting that knowledge is power or knowledge is key in this situation because underneath of the hermit is the king of pentacles. So you're finding out that you actually do have a gift or you're finding out some kind of information that leads you to all of this financial abundance, this wealth, this prosperity, so that you will never be broke again. Now we're seeing the seven of cups which talks about a lot of opportunities coming your way. It can talk about confusion. So some of you, this reading may be confusing or there may be someone trying to confuse you in terms of like money because they want money too. Someone's greedy. Could be a family member, an ex, or somebody who's not really your friend. I'm also getting like full moon and Virgo energy. Somebody who was your friend may not actually turn out to be your friend for some of you. Or you may be seeing this go on with somebody else where somebody's like pretending to be your friend in your face, but behind your back they're like trying to sabotage. I'm getting something about like they're always checking in, like, hey, did you get that job? Hey, how's your money going? Hey, how's this going? Hey, how'd that relationship go? And then you're like, oh, it was good, but then something screws up or then something doesn't go well and then you tell them again and it was them who did it. They don't want to see you happy but they're pretending to be your friend in your face for some of you. That's what the Seven of Cups Hermit energy is. This person could be a Virgo or a Scorpio, or that could be your sign, Virgo or Scorpio, right? Okay, but there's a lot of opportunities coming in here for you in terms of career, making money, and meeting new people who are successful. For some of you, you're going to be meeting one of these kings or two of these kings. Gender doesn't matter, but somebody who's very like career-oriented, somebody who's financially stable, somebody who has it all going on, and they want to provide for you. They're looking to build a family. They're very traditional is what I'm getting for some of you. For others of you, this is about new opportunities coming into your career. For some of you, this is about you becoming the boss, you becoming the leader, you moving up the ranks, something like that. And with that comes more money. I'm also hearing more money, no problems. The universe will handle the problems because the universe, the guides, God is giving you this. And what God gives you cannot be taken from you. The only, reason, the only way you could lose this is if you sabotage it yourself, is if you turn away from spirit, and you won't. And then we're seeing th my title card, which keeps coming out here. So some of you are getting into a connection. I'm getting that it's like finally time for you to be in a committed relationship, or to be in a loving relationship, or to be in like a strong friendship that could lead to a connection later on down the road. And for some of you, this is same sex. King of Pentacles, King of Rods. Somebody could be a Leo, somebody could be a Taurus, right? Again, it doesn't have to be any of those things, but I do feel like sometimes I need to shout out the signs so that you know that it's for you, okay? And then we're seeing this title card here. For some of you, this is like taking your relationship to the next level. Maybe you're currently with somebody and now they want to get married or now they want to move in. They want to like combine the resources, combine the finances. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that in this situation because I feel like this person genuinely wants to provide for you and they see something long-term with you. They want the family and they're very traditional. Okay, somebody could be Italian. 
Or you may even live in Italy. Okay. Um, I feel like this is pretty cut and dry. I don't feel like I need to clarify anything, honestly. Your readings have been kind of short lately, Collective, but I feel like that's all you need. Too much information could confuse you. So that could be a sign that somebody here is trying to give you too much information to confuse you. So I'm getting like, keep it short. Keep the conversation short. All right, last message here for Virgo or for the collective. I am so sorry. I just got done doing a Virgo reading. That's my bad. I apologize. For the collective, last message. A time to give rather than to take. And this is moon and Virgo energy. And we have a full moon in Virgo today when I'm filming this. Right. You could have moon in Virgo, but Spirit is saying it's a time to give rather than to take. Virgo is a service-oriented sign. Virgo works on service. Virgo works a lot. So Spirit's guiding you to give your time, to give your knowledge, to give your love, to share with the world, because the universe has got your back. It doesn't matter about these people who are trying to like sabotage you or whatever. The Seven of Swords is in the reverse. They can't do anything. Nothing that they're doing is actually stopping you. If you like sit back and think about this, this is something that I had to really go through recently too. If you sit back and, and think, is anything changing for you? because of what they're doing? Is anything stopping you from moving forward because of what they're doing or saying? No, and it won't. Nobody actually has power over you unless you give them power over you, right? So Spirit's guiding you to give rather than to take right now because the more that you give, the more that you will receive. And I'm getting that you give, you get what you give is important as well. So I'm getting something about planting seeds for the next six months. And I'm also getting something about during this new moon in Virgo, six months ago in September, you planted some kind of seeds, maybe to meet somebody who is financially stable, or maybe to have some kind of like financial gains, or maybe to never be broke again. And now you're seeing that result now, six months later. Okay. Or maybe you're planting the seeds for something for six months from now as well. I feel like that could be a good message for you is to plant some kind of seeds for the next six months. So think about what you want the next six months to look like and plant that seed and water it because what we water grows but spirit wants you to know it's a time to give rather than to take and then we're also seeing meditate and contemplate okay so whatever that means to you but that's where i'm going to leave this reading i hope that it helps you will never be broke again period and i love that for you you deserve it Take care of your beautiful self, stay hydrated, and if you'd like to donate or tip for this reading, information's in the description box below. Thank you to all of you who do tip and donate. I'm very grateful for you, and I'm always asking that the energy be returned to you, multiplied. But that is it for me. I will catch you in the next one.